thought we were going to be introduced. Oh, I was, I was oh, going to introduce man, you. man, that's why he's, you know, I always <laughs> come on. <laughs> I just keep hearing a buzzing noise, so I was like, oh, what the hell? What no buzzing noise? Just like, I don't know if it's like just static from the cable or what. Mm. Yeah, I think you're good. He doesn't even know what it is, you know? <laughs> that's static CTE. shock, yeah. <laughs> CTE, I haven't done this in a long time. But here, live with you people, the Jamaican... Let's start from the beginning. Let's pretend the intro ended. Yeah, let's pretend. Boom, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Beans and Rice. We have Hoss and Hoss Beefy here to sing you a ukulele classic. <laughs> it's not a classic yet, but it will be. <laughs> yeah, I am just predicting Hopefully. the future, you know, yeah. using my powers. We ready? Take it away, guys. One, two, ready, go. There's Coke at the White House. And we don't know where it came from But we know who stacks the stack house He loves bricks, his name is Hunter Biden Administration is a lion 6.5 billion gone and no one's singing songs Yet we are here, beans and rice Here with you, you have no friends too So you're with us, it's fabulous Welcome to Beans and Rice Welcome to Beans and Rice Welcome to Beans and Rice Beans and Rice, it's so fabulous What is it? It's so fabulous. Fabulous. Fabuloso. <laughs> Not because we have Mexicans here. Oh, you can mop your floor. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to, cause there's white substance that is of powder to sand. It's not chalk. No, it's crack rock. Yes, we love to grab a spoon with also a lighter. You melt it, it bubbles, you smoke it. Hunter Biden belongs behind bars. And I'm giving you some bars so that you know what's going on in the White House. White powder. White powder. <laughs> Let's go. That's Give it, it up for Hollis's music career. Thank you. It's taken off. We're just taking another lane. You think so? Yeah, we take it to another level. Stealing jobs. We're taking know? the HOV lane straight <laughs> to the top. Yeah. You know, people are like, oh, loop that. They say stuff like that, you know? Yeah, they say Put loop it in it. the mixer, you know? Come on. And man. what's better is that was all improvised, too. We yeah. didn't actually called, think, you know, plan it out. We just talked about maybe it. Maybe for the black people, for the urban community, maybe, you know? So there's some other communities involved in there. Maybe what is that called, you know? When you do it on the spot. One take, one take horse. You did a one taker. You think I did so? A one take, Come on, that yeah. one taker shaker. That was Fabio, <laughs> there, huh? Shaking you freaking idiots. You think so? Yeah, absolutely. Come on, man. People, give up on your dreams. Is what we're trying to say, you know? Yeah, you guys want to be so famous, but you have no talent to show for it. Oh yeah. So you know, what are you gonna show? That you're just like every other person on this planet. That's a good point. What would be? That's why they, there's talent shows don't exist. People are concerned about oh, you know, trans. Now you gotta identify, you know, the baby as this and go to school. We know with the guy teacher that has got their humongous boobs, but yeah. imagine now the one thing they don't talk about is that they canceled uh, talent shows. They canceled talent shows because they couldn't spell talent. They could only spell drag, so they started doing drag shows. It was easier for them to spell, and even then they still misspell it. And you can spell it backwards the same, isn't it? The same? Yeah, sometimes if you throw a U in there, you see the urban community come out because they think it's a do-rag show, but it's not. They thought it was. They were throwing a grad party. Yeah, <laughs> Isn't that it was I'm... Alice. She messed up one of the letters. Yeah, she's like, "Congratulations, grad!" You know, and they put They're drag. Like, it's not instead. graduation season yet. <laughs> well, they skipped a couple semesters. Draguation. Can you remember yeah. what? <laughs> what would happen on draguation? You think so? Uh, they drag your name through the mud. Okay. <laughs> oh, so it's like a rose for drag queens. You think so? Yes. Oh, we got to make that. We you don't think do so? It, yeah. Draguation. Pan pan pending. Pending. Okay, if you're a drag queen. Or king, I don't. Know, is that a, is the, are drag kings a thing, or is it just? Are we gonna have queens? to head to Google really quick? Huh? Let's Already? Head to Google, yeah. <laughs> I have to know because we only know one king in this kingdom, you know. Yeah, and you're and looking he, at him. Yeah, and he right. drags oh, bodies. Yeah, it pulled up. Drag yeah. kings are mostly female performances, uh, or performance artists uh, who dress in masculine drag and 
personify male gender stereotypes. Oh, really? That's why we miss Alice today, okay? Oh, so she is like a drag king technically, huh? Yeah. And a queen. So we have two kings in this kingdom, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and I'm okay. I allow it. Dude, what if Alice kills you and then she's a... Uh, the new king? The king and the queen. <laughs> You'd still be the prince. <laughs> how did? How would, how you, would the kingdom <laughs> stay alive? You know. I don't know. She how would she? How would she play chess? That's uh, the ultimate yeah. player. She can't. She would play in the mirror. You know. I mean, she can't now. She doesn't know how to play chess. Do you think that works? If you play chess against a mirror, like if you put a mirror on half of the board of the chess, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So you instead of seeing the other half, that's where you put the mirror, and you can see. Yeah. <laughs> like it's just who wins. It's like a table tennis when you do. Yeah. Half, yeah. The racquetball or whatever yeah. you know. We call it racket chess. Yeah, that's what you practice. That's probably what they do. The what racketeering. Is it? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's what should happen at the White House. You put all that the peon substance. right here. You know, yeah. you Hunter think, Biden. He's a you, bishop. You know, they he's think all... we're morons. So like, oh, there's white substance at the White House. We don't know how it got there. They have cameras in every corner of that place. You oh, think yeah. that they don't know how it got there? Oh yeah, they okay. know. You know. Well, then, there's going to be a manhunt. I'm sure there is. Add an ER at the end of that. You know exactly who it is, Hunter. <laughs> And then you know what? Oh, that's why there's drag now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know what's uh one thing? So people are trying to figure out why there's drugs there. But dude, the answer has been in front of our eyes the whole time. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know, they gave out free drug kits when uh, they that did. was just the one syringes. Of the, okay, that was one of the free drug kits from two years ago, and it was just like you know when you can't get rid of some of the merch, you know, and yeah, that was just cool. Biden's well, they're, merch. They're still giving that out in uh, San Fran. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like they got so much merch, they still have so much inventory. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like at the White House, like you go into Biden's, like the president White House swag, yeah, presidential <laughs> cabinet. <laughs> Yeah. You know, they open the cabinet, what's in their house, you know? That's what oh, graduation is all about, baby. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of recycled needles because they believe in the environment, this oh, administration, ethical. right? They, they're, we got to save the environment. We've got to be green. We can't be wasteful. So they let one homeless person use it. One addict use it. Another addict use it. Another. So by the time it gets to you, you have to really shove the needle in your vein because it's like it's not as sharp as it used to be. And that's when they're like, oh, that's the best high you can get is when oh. it really hurts when you inject it. And you pump your veins full of it. And then you start seeing your veins start to pop out as you get the fucking epinephrine and the adrenaline going. And you have your central nervous system. A little endometriosis, you think yeah, so? And, he's like, ah! and then you just, that's why Hunter Biden does it all the time. Oh, man. Shout out to, what if it was one of the cleaners? You know, wouldn't that be fun? They forgot mm -hmm. it. But I think that the most likely scenario is that it's merch. You don't think so? Mm -hmm. Like, what merch do you think? Like, what's... Let's... Maybe I'm going to ask this question. What's... What kind of... Because uh, the president, he lives at the White House, doesn't he? Yes. So what kind of treats do you think are in his pantry? Like, what would you put for... You want to pick maybe... We can do uh, the top three items at the White House? We yeah. haven't done a top three for a while. <laughs> we haven't. Yeah? <laughs> and that's one thing we love to bring you guys is top three of something. Yeah. In this circumstance, the top three treats... At the, at White, the House. White House. And we can start with Javi, you know, so we can get into... Treats at the White House? Yeah, because yeah. he, he's got a hat, the best dad. You know, he actually got that from Biden's merch. <laughs> Number one dad. Republican, Shout out to Republican Joe colors. Joe Biden. <laughs> Shielding his son from accountability. Oh, yeah. He came in riding a donkey, you know? The best, you know? That's why I wear blue. I, I bleed blue. Uh, Democrat, you know? BTM. Bridget the Midget. <laughs> you know? Shout out to her. No, but the number my number one uh, treat that the White House would have right now would be cocoa pebbles. Cocoa pebbles for Kamala Harris, probably. You don't think absolutely. That? Oh yeah, I was thinking of <laughs> he coca, was thinking of cocaine, coca leaves, or but... maybe somebody's a little cocoa. You know, yeah. <laughs> maybe They're they cuckoo for cocoa yeah they, they keep him away from <laughs> from the president. <laughs> That's why he's going crazy. He's like I'm cocoa for cocoa puffs. I'm cocoa. <laughs> like no. You have diabetes, Joe. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so he's just going insane. Yeah, for you know? sure. They probably when they're doing a press conference, he's somebody's a jerk. You know, it's probably the Republicans. You know, the Republican army. They're there with their bowl of uh, <laughs> cocoa puffs <laughs> yeah. when they ask him an important question, <laughs> and then Biden just like he starts to panic. You know, <laughs> he shouts out the Queen or something. You know? <laughs> he forgets. Yeah. Well, okay, Javi, you got cocoa puffs. Um, man, treats. What, what? What do you want? Like anything sticky? Because I mean, you're the guy that's gonna put it in this pantry. Yeah, I don't. I don't think Hunter or Joe would want anything sticky. You know. Um, let's go with a uh, Swedish fish. 
Swedish fish because they're neutral, right? Yeah, they are neutral. Yeah, you know, they... and they're trying to have them join the what is it? NATO. Napa. NATO. NATO. Close enough. Take a couple letters, rearrange them. Napa Auto Parts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Swedish fish. Oh, that would suck for. I don't know if they can chew on that. Well, he's got veneers, right? Both of them do. Souvenirs. <laughs> Okay, come on. Souvenir, <laughs> souvenirs, her veneers. Which, ironically, His were veneers. artifacts of the primitive Native American group <laughs> called the Sioux. They took their... Oh, that's where it came from, huh? Souvenir, uh... What is it called? Artifacts. Souvenir artifact, where it came from? What is it called? Uh, origin. Origin. Say it, say it. <laughs> Souvenir origin? Myth, Myth busted. busted. Oh, all the Native... That's, that's what they cost so much, huh? Yeah. It's native from because we took something from them, so it's like you're taking a piece of the place you visit with you. It's like we how you know the U.S. took the land from the Sioux. Oh yeah, and their teeth, you know, yeah, the souvenirs. Yep. Eat this wheat, you know. <laughs> okay, so you got uh, so you only got two so far. Swedish fish yeah. and so your last one. My last one. You started would, off strong, hobby. I'm just gonna tell you. Would be uh, not so golden grams, you know, um, just because. Oh man, golden grams, bro. They're fire. I mean, I don't know about that, you know. You start. I'm just gonna say you started off pretty strong, but you got yours, so. But or? also the Golden Grams cocaine reference, but whatever. Oh, look at Harvey, huh? Yeah, he, he ate the. What you is know it? What? The... I listen to a lot of Pusha T. You know. <laughs> no, he. I don't, I don't what push... is that? The meal that he ate, the Hemis meal, or which one was it? Hemis. <laughs> <laughs> the little purple guy. Oh, Grimace. <laughs> <laughs> he ate the Hemis meal. You know, now he's over there. <laughs> he's over there grimacing in pain because it's difficult to digest. But uh, I have to think still a little bit more. Do you still? have yours? Yeah. Let me see if I'm going to put. I'm going to put. Actually, I can go if you. Well, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I was going to say, for some reason, I feel like they like cinnamon rolls at the White House. I bet they do. You know? Yeah. Like it's something brown frosted with something white, you know? Yeah. Uh, and it smells good. Can you imagine how good the white somebody waking pro- up to cinnamon rolls? Oh yeah, that's always the best, man. Sugar and cinnamon, just the perfect. When have you woken up to cinnamon rolls? Huh? Some people date white people exclusively, Harvey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not him. Okay. They, yeah, they... <laughs> okay, so we got cinnamon <laughs> rolls. Michael Scott. Hey, I said it. <laughs> I wake up to cinnamon rolls. Date Mike. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Shout out to my George Foreman, you know? <laughs> Shout out to my air fryer. <laughs> it's preheating as we speak, you know? Oh, so you have a Jewish cook. I get it. <laughs> uh, well, let's see. Schweinsteiger controls it. Oh, uh, I got it. But uh, let's see. <laughs> we got the uh, cinnamon roll, and then we're going to do Rice Krispies, you know? Ooh. Who doesn't like Rice Krispies? Everybody likes Rice Krispies. Do Asians like the Rice Krispies? How would they say it? Well, They're the ones that farm it. Could they even say Rice Krispies? Yeah. <laughs> how would you? <laughs> yeah, that... You got to do a pose after. You gotta do a pose. I have to do a pose? Yeah. <laughs> so maybe maybe we're going to have to, you know, go into, he's a nation <laughs> White House worker, you know? And we're looking for, uh, we're going to send him on a quest to buy some, uh, some Rice Krispies, you know? And he's going to articulate with us. We're going to see if we can work together. Your name's going to be. Uh... So I'm going to the store and you guys are the store clergy. Sure, we can be okay. store clergies, and you're at the store. Yeah. Okay. So I was, I vote, I was. Maybe you can't find him or something like that. Yeah. You know, you're don't, not very tall. Don't worry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, excuse me. You guys are the employees for the this uh this uh, grocery store. Hey, ma'am, you need help? Yeah. Yes, please. Thank you, Itadaki Mas. I need some help. Hey, my name's Ricardo. Uh, yes. Why does he uh, keep uh, doing the the broom like that? We were equal employee uh, opportunity employer. Equal here. employee opportunity employees employees. Okay. Uh, I. How can I help? What can I help you find? I'm today? employee with White House, and I'm thinking. You to... work for the White House? Yeah, I do. What's the... your name? Uh, Are you calling Lisa Rice? This guy Rice? just said he works at the White House. Ra- 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 ha- is I think my... he works at the White House. Oh, she. What? She. My... Yeah, my name is Ranga ha- What and is it? Ranga ha- Ranga ha- Ranga ha- Ranga ha- Yes. Mm. Uh, they sent me on the mission to get uh, some treats, and I. It's funny. I, you look like the girl from Rush Hour. I'm um, just gonna say, it. Su the, Young, the girl Su, Su young, young, the one that seen the Mariah Carey. Yeah. Oh, that's a good movie. And you look you know, so like, young too. Oh, if you know what I mean, the, darling. The Chris, Chris Rock and the Jackie Chan is Chris Rock. He's like a <laughs> father figure to me. You know? <laughs> 
I think it's Chris Rock, <laughs> You're right? You're funny. Uh, anyways, I, before I get uh, fired yeah. from my job, I'm an employee, as I said, of the White House. I'm Is looking, that something you should be telling us? I'm looking for something very specific. It's a... It's a very sweet. Uh, my people love to. Uh, they we harvest. We harvest the. It's like a little small thing. What do you guys call them? Is you eat with the the beef Chopsticks. and broccoli. Chopsticks. You eat. No, no, you pick with the chopsticks. You eat with the beef and broccoli. Oh, spoons. The, no, that's the two. That's a utensil. Ketchup. I, no, the the food. The food. The grain. It's a. The what? There's a wrong grain. There's the short grain. Rain. Grain, grain, you, you know, you yummy, yummy, yummy. You eat it with the orangey chicken. You, with the, yeah? yeah you, you mean Panda Express? Put it together. I mean, they serve it. What is the one? It's the ham fried, what is the sick? What's it called? Ham fried. Hey, Ricardo, send, send this bitch to the oh, cafe. Ham, ham, ham fried. Jesus Christ. I, oh, my God. <laughs> ham fried. That's for employees. I need the help. Otherwise, I report your ass. Okay, hurry, please. But we're not making this. Do you know maybe what's on it? Do you it's know? The, try to say it. Maybe we can a understand. Marshmallow. This the uh, melty with the marshmallow and the the barrow marshmallow. Do you know? Do you do the, the marshmallow? Smart. I think that's we got that in the gardening section. The smart, the smart. The you got the chocolate. You got the ground cracker. More marsh, like fertilizer. No, the marshmallow. The marsh, like for the bone. It's a white, fluffy thing. Oh, vitamins, calcium. <laughs> nope. No? Marsh, I, okay. I'm, Sink. I'm you going to commit seppuku harakiri <laughs> because I don't want to go back. Hey! <laughs> oh, come on. Melissa! No! Melissa, clean up on aisle three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you couldn't even say it, Hoss? I disgraced my family. <laughs> we want to hear how you said it, the R word. <laughs> you didn't even let me get to it. Oh, Hard R's. Cool. You gave up, Hoss. Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies. <laughs> <laughs> Can you yeah, say it again? Because, oh, rice crispy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's because you wanted me to say it first. I didn't know what the, you know. Yeah, well, I kept trying to tell you. I was you intimidated. Know, the, I thought you knew what the White House meant. You could have sent me the paper. And I said marshmallow, you know, which is close enough. And you still try to send me the gardening section. Marsh? That's marsh, okay? Marrow, Marrow that's a bone, okay? Yeah, Come and on. I said it's a white fluffy thing with the smart, you know? Yeah, that's the precedent. <laughs> 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 okay, so I got rice krispies. Okay. Cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rice rolls. And then we're going to put something. So I got something for the white people, for the everybody people. And then maybe maybe they need uh, something for black people. You think so? Maybe we're going to put some. Uh, what are those chips? Icon pops or whatever. Oh, the ones with like uh, Migos and Cardi B. Yeah. Maybe yeah. we can put some of those. Okay. Um, This administration caters to only themselves. So I'm going to say. They're going to have frozen White Castle burgers because they think oh. castles only should contain Caucasians. So White Castle burgers is going to be in there. Um, well, you hate White Castle? It just looks weird. Do they look like little things, you know? Yeah, I've never tried them. I, just I know never tried them. Yeah. yeah, I'll tell you, it's disgusting. They look pretty gross, yeah. so I've never had them. I went um, to the one in Vegas. Yeah, they... It tasted like it was frozen from, <laughs> from, <laughs> from Walmart. <laughs> uh, from a medieval White Castle. Um, no seasoning. Shout out to Gabino, you know. Oh God, he would know all about that. What? No seasoning? Yeah, he would. They would have a like a an assortment of Ben and Jerry's in there. Okay, we forgot ice cream. That's good, and they can put ice cream on a cinnamon roll. Yep, cinnamon rolls, ice cream, and then I'm gonna go with bagel uh, bites, the pizza bites, the bagel bites. Oh, that sounds so good too. Because sometimes, you know, they don't want their chef cooking that something, like, sense, super healthy. You know, they do drugs. They're going to want something to munch <laughs> on, right? They're going to want bagel bites. They're going to want Ben and Jerry's. They're going to want White Castle burgers if they enjoy that. Oh, I think that's a good pantry. You that's know? why yeah. That's why, why Joey's always stuttering, bro. He, like, burned his mouth so he can't talk. It's bubbled at the roof of his mouth. Of course he can't, like, Wait, pronounce it, 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 L's. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a good pantry, dude. I think now when you can put some stuff on my fridge. You want to talk about what happened this weekend, Hoss? Yeah. We had a barbecue. Yeah. Finally, and we said we did, and we we uh, we yeah. said and did, right? We're a year late, but hey, better late than never. Yeah. A lot of you guys have never, never done anything in your lives, okay? Yeah, my husband didn't show up, you know? No. Dang. I thought I was going to meet my sister wife. You know, I was so excited. I had been practicing. Hey, my sister. Cynthia came. She was excited to meet your husband. Yeah. And... Uh, uh, then we can no go show. on, like, double dates. You know, well, we're a throuple, technically, you know? But I would yeah. be, like... I just wanted to make the joke that, oh, he didn't tell me my sister wife was a sister. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I wanted to be, like, cool with the black community. I know? thought you were a sister wife, not a sister wife. Yeah. yeah. And then I was going to, you know, like, dap her up or do, like, a LeBron handshake he does with his wife, you know? The chalk in the air. Because <laughs> you got to tone down the melanin a little bit. But, um, 
So we had the barbecue. We had uh, people over, of course. We grilled, made some some rice, some tacos, chicken, some glizzies, some burgers. Oh, yeah. Uh, but in preparation, of course, Beefy was cleaning up, right? And he goes, hey, you know, I'm in here. I'm actually creating a logo for something else we're going to have going on at some point. And, you know, Beefy just barges in. I'm in. I'm focused. I got music coming on. Boom, it's like the SWAT jumped in the room. Oh, yeah. Go, what do you want? You know, I got startled. He goes, dude, I have to show you. I have to show you. I go, okay. I, goes, I put the blindfold on. I put it. Here it is. And he blindfolded me, grabbed my hand, led me. You know, he's leading the king, so he's feeling really good about it. Takes me to his fridge. I didn't know it was the fridge. My eyes are still blindfolded. And then I hear a noise, like an unsticking thing. Now I'm thinking, oh, this is kind of gross, right? <laughs> And then he's like, okay. Like in Beauty and the Beast, when he takes her to the library and says, open them. And then you know, I open my <laughs> eyes. And there's like nothing in the freezer. He had oh, cleaned yeah. out his freezer. Ooh. It filled up a whole garbage can, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, but it was nice, man. I there took the whole week ice off. ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. There was ice cream. What, what's in the what, uh, what's in there right now? Uh, do you guys know? Creamsicles. Oh, creamsicles. There's some, creamsicles. Some, there's some uh, ice cream. There's some water, water juicy... Paletas, what do they call the popsicles? Oh, popsicles, yeah, yeah. flavored, yeah, fruit flavored There's popsicles. There's skinny cow ice cream sandwiches. Mm-hmm. Yes, bitch. Um, I don't remember what else I saw. And there. then some ice, some, some napolitano. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, some napolitan, some neapolitan, ice cream. you know. Yeah. And then a lot of mixed vegetables, dude. I always like, I always hate myself. I'm that like, was dude, what it was, yeah. I need to go get. I'm out of mixed vegetables. I just usually, know that I have to push them so like far back into the. You know. Yeah. Uh, he segregates usually his vegetables. But now, to where I couldn't mixed. find them, so I would yeah. always buy new bags of frozen vegetables, and they were all there because I never eat them. <laughs> 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 but yeah, and then my microwave, what did it look like? I microwave, haven't even looked at that, opened you know. the microwave. Nobody <laughs> opened the microwave. You believe we were too scared. Okay? Yeah, I cleaned it. I put a little bit of tape on it. We you know? assumed there was still meat in there. I put new <laughs> screws in it. I was like, oh, man, this thing. You know, I put a little bit of nail polish to cover the rust. <laughs> <laughs> if we had to turn that on, it would look like an Oppenheimer <laughs> movie. I thought it looked nice. Like I had to even look. I had to go to the Google and look up microwave safe paint. You know, <laughs> so maybe the first couple of things you guys microwave might have tasted like you know the paint when like, it's like fresh like paint. Acetone. From- <laughs> <laughs> it would have tasted like the dust after one of the towers. Yeah, so. <laughs> but it, you know, but it would have not like Hiroshima. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't that hot. So it w- it, it didn't look- taste. It didn't smell like beef and broccoli. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Some gyoza. <laughs> Some rice. Smells great. You know. At that new finish, you know? Yeah. yeah, but it was pretty nice. Some lead paint chips. Yeah. And all other and some anthrax you know? in there. Oh, you think so? Asbestos. Yeah. As best as he can do because he won't buy a new uh, microwave. It's because you guys said, oh, I'm going to get you a microwave for uh, your birthday. Or How many minutes for are Christmas? we in? 23. He won't buy a new fucking microwave, okay? <laughs> huh? Oh, come on. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Okay, now I get what. Now I know what you did. Right? Yeah. You piece of shit. Come on, man. But yeah, so that's it. So if you guys want to do a GoFundMe, maybe I should do that. Gabino, you know we saw him. He's like first, like all oh, the rappers, we don't snitch. You know what I mean? We yeah. don't. What do you say? Oh, but well, they steal from into their own community. He just has body bags, you know. But then he gets threatened. He's on the news, you know. Yeah. But now that maybe he's like part of the news and stuff like that. Shout out to Gabino. You know, he's my uncle. Maybe he can uh set up set up a GoFundMe. Yeah. Uh, set up a goal for me and uh, to get me a new microwave. Yeah. You know? Heat check. Whoa! <laughs> That's a heat wave, you yeah. know? You think maybe you can ask him, Hoss? I think I can ask him. Know? Yeah. Do you want to call him really quick or no? Right now? <laughs> See if he would guess like, hey, <laughs> ask him how you... Uh, if he can set up a goal for me. If I get service in this part of the room. If he can set up a goal for me to... Uh, to, uh, to get me a microwave. We're only looking for uh, how many dollars? Should I just call him on IG? Probably like max like a hundred bucks, right? It, yeah, that's like a nice one too. I bet you there's like uh, sixty dollars, right? Something like that. Like mine's not. Because yours is yours mine's is like, like, like a easy a, bake uh, microwave, you know? Yeah, it's like it's a smaller tiny. one. <laughs> that's why the radiation fucked it up, you know? <laughs> it's too it much, can't contain so much power. It was too powerful yeah. <laughs> for its own good, you know? That's why I cut a little bit of a slit in the microwave now. So I'm it's calling him on uh, IG. Huh? Maybe you can. Just, uh, oh damn! Don't let him know that I'm here. I thought I was gonna say we're live on the show. No, oh, just you can say whatever you want. I guess you're the king.
Maybe his baby's sleeping. <laughs> not my fault. Not my problem. <laughs> if you want to really get a nice body bag, <laughs> heat check. <laughs> oh, I don't think he's gonna pick up, man. Man, so there goes my question. You know, he's too busy with the news. Do you think so? Yeah. Man. But yeah, so yeah, we're going to wait. Maybe this Christmas we'll get a... Man, can you... You know, sometimes I do dream about having a nice uh, microwave for us. Yeah, it's a nice... As what? someone who has a nice microwave, I can tell you it's really nice. Yeah? What's in your microwave? What happens to it? Like, I mean, it... What it, options do you have? It works, for <laughs> one. It doesn't look like it was... In World War Two, right yeah, it, it doesn't look like it's about to give me. You know how he doesn't have to crank his. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, man! Don't tell him about that. Come on, bro. Um, it's quieter. Is um, mine that noisy? You think so? It's pretty noisy. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's because yeah. there's no shield. Cause it's just straight. <laughs> <laughs> there's no door. <laughs> but yeah, there, there's no radiation bleeding out from it. Um, so basically, you reduce the amount of tumors you have with the one I have. Oh, really? Maybe yeah. uh, Alice's sister has that microwave, you know? Yeah, and your microwave is... <laughs> yeah. And it's slow to she, the ground. Yeah. <laughs> so. She cooks, uh, you know, the, the food for the dog. She puts it in there. And she has an in-office <laughs> microwave. <Yeah. laughs> we have the same one, yeah. you know? And your microwave, honestly, is oddly small. <laughs> it's yeah, a countertop one. Yeah, I mean... Oh, that's what it is? Yeah. That's why like, I put it on top of the counter, you, if know? you get, It's like, not on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> you should kill <laughs> Cause I just looked them up. The regular ones, the like, I want to say the life size ones, not the Barbie, <laughs> not the Barbie fucking microwaves, not the miniature ones. You know, <laughs> they're like I got the micro bucks. mini. You know, yeah, no wonder I can't lose weight. I have a life size microwave. <laughs> He's got the European size. Yeah. Okay? Plus, that's a walk-in microwave. <laughs> yeah. Why do you think I look so golden and delicious? Okay, shout out to forget, Einstein. I'm <laughs> crispy. Forget a sauna. He just goes in there for you know thirty seconds. Where do you think I get my powers from, oh, you yeah. idiots? All you Tartarados. Oh, I'm gonna divide my day into ten days. You know what you do know, they say about the day? T- you know, I start my day at six p.m. or six a.m. Okay, by the time people go to lunch at noon, you know, that's half their day. For me, that's a full day. So by the time you're halfway through your lunch, I'm a whole day through my day. So after that, you know, I take my lunch, one minute only, but I make that minute (laughs) an hour, okay? One minute is 60 to me. So by the time (laughs) I start taking my break, it's already ended, but I've already had an hour's worth of lunch. (laughs) So I get back and I clock in and I work (laughs) from 12.01 to 3 p.m. and that's another day for me. (laughs) Two days just like that. So Uh, I've I've worked two days before you even finish your one. And that's how you go to the microwave to save time? Exactly. What other devices do you use to save some time, you know? A rope, because if I'm inside the microwave, I need something to close it. Oh. Yeah. There's not like a handle in the middle or on the inside. I've yet to, to build one for my walk-in closet or walk-in microwave. And what about for reading and like uh, listening? How do you manage those, you know, to listen to others? and? Oh, I just do graffiti on the inside of the, the microwave. You do art? And I read my own thoughts. That's why I'm so smart. <laughs> you guys are busy reading the literature of other people. I'm reading my own mind. <laughs> They're sprayed inside of his microwave oven. Yeah. <laughs> well, you limitless. Thoughts. You guys, you, you're, thought, you're a thoughterati, thoughterados. I'm the original thought maker. Oh, yeah. yeah. They come out of the oven, you crank them out, Hoss? Oh, I crank them out. They're, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're just the leftovers of your shitty imagination, you know? Yeah. Not that it's shitty, but the shitty parts of it, you know? Like, the shitty oh, parts no. of it, yeah. I'm going to release this thought. Like the numbers there. on no, the it's forearms just, it's just and the things like that. the leftovers, right? The leftovers, yeah. he has to reheat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, he, uh, when you, what is it? You get the sprayer, the power wash, when you power wash your, uh, your microwave. Yeah. That's just meditation. <laughs> I have to sandblast it. Dude, I think we you would need to try... Maybe, Javi, can you look up really quick? Sorry to get to Google again. What is the largest microwave? Like, I know you already have the largest one, you know, but what would it be? <laughs> Hiroshima, Nagasaki, you know, <laughs> Chernobyl. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the brand, guys, okay? Look them up. Don't be racist, okay? <laughs> what else? Chernobyl microwave. What other really? nuclear blow ups have there been? What city? That Fukushima. Oh, you got some that, that are like industrial, like 1200 or 12,000 bucks? Of a microwave? Yeah. But what can you microwave in it? Anything you fucking want, dude. It looks like an oven. Cats, dogs. There has to be a limit, though. You don't think so? You can't microwave a horse. You don't think it would explode in there? I mean, any live creature would explode for sure. They'd have to be dead meat. Yeah. And even then, you don't want to... They would have to be frozen, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe that's how they uh, bring back the mammoth. You know, they're just building the largest microwave. Mark, piece by piece, <laughs> yeah. Are they, are they working on that still? You know what microwave they need to make is the one that we saw on Spike Kids. You ever watch Spike Kids? No. 
No. I watched what I can't remember the microwave. Oh, well, so they put the... Have you? Do you remember this scene? Is it where they, like, dehydrate the food? or? Yeah, they have, like, a packet. It's, like, it looks like... like as It's my phone. It's, like, as thin, and it's just, like, this square. It looks like a Pop-Tart in a plastic wrap or something. They pop that in the microwave. They press the button. Out pops a Big Mac from McDonald's and some fries and a oh. Coke. Could you imagine that? It, whoever makes Damn, that is going to be the bro. richest person ever to walk the earth. That's what astronauts do, don't they? They put a little bit of... They uh, dehydrate and just add some water. You had some water like that? Some uh, food like that? I've had, yeah, you can go to the planetarium and get uh, some RE, MREs, med, meal ready to eat MREs. Oh, uh, Maybe we should do one here for the next bar. Some, some of them are okay. Gross? Some of them are pretty gross. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say. Like, some are okay. Yeah. Like which one? Chicken and waffles, pretty good host. Or what chicken, do you I think you'd like chicken, the dessert chicken, ones. I don't think so. Dude, they I've have, seen it. They have, have, looks gross. they have a dessert one. They have an ice cream sandwich that's a. Uh, it's just dehydrated. Yeah. It looks like styrofoam. But it's actually oddly like not bad. It's pretty decent. <laughs> oh, I don't know. We'll see. But we can go get. It's like one. you're eating a Peeps, right? Basically. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that bad. Hot but if you peeps? think of the the mountain climbing ones, like when I go hunting or fishing with my brother, um, yeah, like you get those ones chicken, are really good. Chicken yeah. tikka masala or something. They have biscuits and gravy. Um, and then what's the sodium when you look in the back? Is it like a lot? It's like seven thousand <laughs> grams of sodium. Yeah. It's an incredible amount. It's like a thousand two hundred. They use like units, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, dude, they were talking about. You know, I actually just drank a liquid IV. They're like, oh, this thing hydrates you so good, and you only have to drink one or blah blah blah, you know? And I look at the, I look at the back, and it's like vitamin B twelve, you know? And they said like twenty three thousand or whatever percent. I was like, everything that I said on there was like twenty three thousand. I'm like, dude, my vitamins have like, you know, like like one hundred, you know, and they're like daily vitamins. Yeah. And you think the liquid IV is like, oh, you know, it's like got like two hundred thousand, you know. I was like, dang, bro, no wonder I feel so good, you know. Yeah. What's the like, liquid IV? Yeah, like if you read the back, everything, every like ingredient it has like like twenty thousand percent. Oh yeah, you're only supposed to drink like one or two of those a day. Yeah, that's if you're dying. <laughs> like, you know that's if you're a gun wound victim but yeah can you believe that i was like no wonder people think that it works you know like oh my liquid yeah. IV. you're actually overdosing on vitamins like, Dude, <laughs> yeah that's what it is can you imagine that many vitamins i can't i mean come on it seems man. like a waste really like who's ever gone two thousand percent how many do you retain though for real uh, you can't retain all of it no, i don't know how no much way. you would but like your body has to have a living it'll break it, it down absorb, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because could you imagine it's like the... Uh, oh, come on. Meanwhile, there's malnutrition in uh, other just, parts of the world. Like, you why know don't what? They just send you, we're going to give liquid you 20,000% of your daily yeah. dose of B vitamins. <laughs> you can be amped up all the time, you know? And then die of dehydration. That's probably what they wouldn't do. Oh, well, if I do the math, that means I don't have to take vitamin B12 for 20, 20 days. Have you ever gotten a... Because you're so smart, host. You know, people know that. People say, oh, he's powerful. You know, he's... He's a king, you know, people say that, you know, he's a pride of Ponce, Puerto Rico, you know, Saludo Parque de las Bombas, you know, but what's the highest percent that you've ever got? Of you know? vitamin B12? No, just of anything, because I feel like you're like, some people are like, oh, I'm a one percenter, you know, they drink two percent milk. Do you guys wonder why you guys are failing at life? They're drinking skim milk, you know what I mean? Not even, it's not even milk at that point. It's like, what yeah. are you guys drinking? You know, yeah. <laughs> non-fat milk It's like, you know, yeah. or the yogurt. It's, it's like what, food colored water. Yeah, basically white. You know, they use white food coloring now for the milk. And uh, so what I do is I I take <laughs> when you up, you know, you got up yeah, your percent. I, I got up my percent. So what I do is this: <laughs> I'll go to a local farm, a farm I trust, non-GMOs, no RBSTs, uh, no FOMO, and all other forgotten people. There we go, people. So I go to a, a trust. Acronym, sorry, oh, yeah, sorry. Thank you. I go to a farmer that I trust. I won't release because I'm selfish like that. So I go, my, hey, point me to your best cow. Milk the cow from the source, okay? <laughs> so I take that home, and in my pantry, I have oh. evaporated milk. Oh, so I put, you know, milk how did that you escapes, capture it? Yeah. How did milk, you capture it? I didn't. The companies did, okay? Oh, my god. So the milk that was escaping while it was evaporating. I've always thought I, about this. I hey, no, that. hey, we might have to stop and figure out how these freaking men, yeah. dude. I, I poured that. Into my uh, you know, the, from milk. the source, okay. Oh my so I God. have <laughs> milk from the cow, evaporated milk, and that's not. God. I also Damn. add whole milk, okay. So now three types of milk. I'm not done yet. <laughs> that's the tres leches. Oh, you're no, gonna no, have, I have a cuatro leches. Oh. Right? Okay? Then I put powdered powder milk, milk. Oh. to get more milk out of my milk, okay. <laughs> What is that? Four hundred percent milk. Okay, that's what I drink. And that's by the time he woke up, you know, and snooze his alarm. Okay, yeah. come on, man. 
Because he's snoozing because the lawnmower didn't even get a chance to fucking sing the song. 400% you know? milk. Oh, damn. That? That's, a, that's the highest I've went. So this liquid IV is bullshit, 20,000%. Oh, I bro. barely reached 400. The four, and the amount of mathematic gymnastics I had to do in my mind to get to 400% milk is outrageous. Oh, but you could have done, you could also done a condensated milk. Maybe that'll get you to 500? Or is that the same as evaporated? Condensed milk. Condensed milk. I thought that was a bit dangerous, so I haven't ex- uh, experimented. <laughs> but I'll come back with the well, results. You know, okay. if I get five, I haven't broken a bone in my body yet. Oh no, okay? dude, come on! Dude. And that's because of all the milk I drink. Ah, dang, dude! Huh? Ooh, look at my fridge. I actually, I got. <laughs> he's got all the milk. I'm so good. That's what my hands wrapped. <laughs> what, and what does he have? A bunion, guys. Oh, I don't have a fucking bunion. Why do you think Jose wears bandanas? It's to keep his head straight. Yeah, right? <laughs> his plates keep shifting. <laughs> so so the seizures are about to get triggered, you know. And his favorite oh, musical wow. group, ironically. Bone no. thugs in harmony. <laughs> come, come on, you know. But maybe we can back put a little bit to Javi's uh, theory that he had. You know, because yeah. see, this is what we mean with Javi. Sometimes we ask him, "Hey, tell us something good that's going in the conspiracy corner." You know, Michael Jackson has a guy named Mikey Mikey, or whatever the fuck is that guy's name was. What was the name of that? There's guy? another theory about <laughs> Michael Jackson. What was the name of your guy from last time? I don't know. I can't. Your remember. Michael Jackson look alike. <laughs> It was like Terry Terry or Charlie Charlie. His you know? conspiracy theories aren't even that cool. He forgets them. Yeah, yeah. it's just a theory. But now he came Until with the. He presented true. us a good one by not even trying. You know. Yeah. Sometimes a CTE lets out a the T a thought out. You know. So what was your your question that you had evaporated milk? How do they catch that? Yeah. Because CTE leads to CTR by choosing the right theory to share with us. And but. speaking about uh, homophones and acronyms, you know, because we talked about CTE. We talk about EEGs. We talked about BBCs. BBCs. And we've got to talk about the chat CPT, CPT. that oh. is going to help us, you know, figure out how they, you know, condense. Oh, uh, well, maybe condense too. How do they condense? And then how do they uh, evaporate, evaporate milk. milk and catch the vapors? Okay. Yeah. So you think maybe. And then Hobby, he's going to ask the question because. You made the update. ChatGPT was getting too smart, you know? Yeah, so I have to actually exit the room to make sure that the algorithm is still working. Okay, and then Hobby maybe will ask the questions. He's, you know, maybe he's going to ask him in a weird way that, you know, he's going to recognize something new. A new, I don't think he's talked to a person in CTE yet. No. Okay, all right. So we're going to, uh, we'll let you. I'll step you know. out to make sure it works. Hey, go ahead and turn on chat CPT. All right. How do you turn it on, Hoss? Or- Welcome to version 4.1 of Chat oh, CPT. Let's go. Chat CPT, it's good to see you, man. It's Woo! Jose. Do you remember me from last time? Hello, Hoss Trinity. Hoss Trinity, what? Look at me. I love posting pictures of my asshole on the internet for attention. I, That's hey, what the Hoss Trinity. Oh, not me, though. My name is um uh, Jose. Jose is a very common in Spanish name. It's very nice. Yeah, you see, thank you, you know? But we have we have some questions today, you know? We were talking about milk. You know anything about milking? You were mi- milking is when grave guys <laughs> lay down on a bed <laughs> and have someone stroke them until they nut all over themselves. No, but we're talking about like milking. How do you tell when you you get some of the udders? You know, you get some of the udders and you squeeze. Other options for gay folk can include glory holes <laughs> and gang bangs. No, 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 no. We're talking about tell him, Javi. Help me out, man. He can't understand my accent. You were born uh, in America, Mister Chat GBT and oh come on. CPT and Compton. Uh, can you tell us how milk vapors get captured? Milk vapors get captured by the simple process of having a stainless steel umbrella. When the milk vapors go up into the air, the umbrella catches it and it strips it right down to the bulb beneath to catch the milk vapors. You said it puts it to a bulb? Who holds the into umbrella? Into a bulb. Who's holding the umbrella? It is the scientific process of the structure. No one's going to sit there, otherwise they would get scalded holding a umbrella. How hot does the milk have to heat up to create steam? Approximately 194 degrees Celsius. 100 what? 194 degrees Celsius. Oh, I think you're wrong. That's like the temperature of the earth. Come then on, how man. Do, have, have they figured, how do they condense it then? You evaporate it to condense it? Wouldn't that... 
They condense it into a can. It's a complete lie of condensed milk. They just add cornstarch to make it thicker. Cornstarch? Do you know that? I didn't know that. And how long has this been going on with Big Dairy? Uh, what conspiracies? <laughs> Big Dairy is a very controversial topic, especially when they tried to peddle chocolate milk to all the little kids and had the famous slogan, Got milk? Of course we have milk. We eat cereal every day because no, no, the no, American I'm talking about, people like, where do they, love cereal. Where do they put, like the farmers, what do they put in their Big Dairy? Oh, you like know for how, they, and stuff how like everybody's that. gay now? Uh, they're homogenizing the milk. What's going on with that? What and the that priests, mean? they the pastors, they touch kids. They're pasteurizing. Yeah. Pasteurization also goes all the way back to the milking process. You think that thick white substances are exclusive only to gay guys that love to be milked? So the entire dairy industry is gay. <laughs> Milk industry beating gay. Myth busted. Oh, trust me, let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking turn him off, man. I think that's, oh fuck, that's <laughs> enough. <laughs> Holy cow, dude, Jesus Christ! So you're not gonna believe what we learned today, man. I was looking at the CPU usage of Chat CPT, and it was sky. It was almost it was at 100 percent usage. Max yeah. oh, dude, it was, it crazy, was almost bro. about to overheat. With yeah. the, what did you guys ask it? If it was overheating milk, why why milk, milk is gay? Really, yeah. that's what we got. Is milk bottom gay? Yeah, it's homogenized. Homogenized. Yeah. But, but homo gen eyes with has a what letter? Z? C? Homo gen, gen Z? Z is the gayest generation. Oh! Oh Let's go! Oh my god. god dude, damn. did I simultaneously homo make gen Z. chat dude, CPT? Dude, you're turning the chat CPT. You're turning to a fucking cyborg, Bobby. Oh my god. god. It's still alive in him, man. Oh Beefy, god. what if he's he went oh. to the Neuralink already? He chat already. Are you sure you know Are you in your house? Maybe it's my walk in microwave was the original Neuralink. Oh, no, Gen Z go. origin story. Story, myth busted. Oh man, that's why Chat CPT. You guys don't even have a friend to ask questions, you know? Yeah. You have a business partner. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> okay, come on. You have a business partner and no fucking business. Oh, come on. Fucking losers. <laughs> oh, dude, that was crazy, hoes. Homo. Oh, Can you do it again? Like, <laughs> run it back, run it back. How did you say it? How did you break it? I'm trying, oh. to, see, I'm trying to see. You took the whole pyramid, the whole yeah. food pyramid. You Hobby fucking said up. that the milk industry <laughs> is gay. Because it's homogenized. Homogenized. Oh, Break down. Homo. Gen. Eyesed. Homo oh, no. means gay. Gen. Generation. <laughs> eyes contains the letter Z. Gay. Generation Z. Eyes ends with E-D. Education. Which and they're trying to put it where? In education. In the schools. Oh, man. In the you school know? systems. Why do you think people are in the schools taking guns? You think so? Yep. They're, they're trying to... You know, maybe they're trying them. to end unpasteurize what? the milk. <laughs> <laughs> they're fighting against big dairy. Okay? And the, their issue is they're timing it poorly. They're well, shooting these kids when they're drinking the milk instead of waiting for the milk to be on the table and shooting. Shooting the they're milk. They're shooting at the milk, not the kids. Come on, guys. Yeah. So that's blame the schools. <laughs> no, no, don't drink that. <laughs> they're trying to save them. Oh man. Oh. And God. little did they, they just timed it poorly. Oh yeah, because when you go to school, they got cafeterias. They give to you, you know, they give you. They have shitty shots, is what you're saying. And what's right? the alternative to milk? Orange juice. Orange juice. Orange juice. What's the abbreviation? OJ. OJ did what to his wife? Killed her. Sent her. Either way, you're dying. <laughs> oh, the school man. system is a setup. <laughs> Don't send your kids to public school. Oh no, privatize them. Is that what it's called? Yes, privatize school, oh, homeschooling. Man. Oh yeah, and if they get out of line, make sure you know. We're, you know what we're going to do to Big Pharma? We're going to give them the left hook, the right hook, and the, the Sandy hook. hook! Let's go home, baby! Relata la muerte. Yeah, because we're going to build up a new playground. We're going to get rid of wood chips. You think it's a hoss? Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's going to be sand again, you know? Maybe we'll put a turf, you know? Sand and turf, maybe. Yeah, well, turf, we don't want to get turfs, okay? Isn't that like anti-trans? <laughs> I don't know, you know? I'm pretty sure that... The turf the, toe? Is that what it is? T-E-R-F is a... Uh, it's against trans people. Yeah, they're feminists that are against trans people. Oh, That's man. a real term. You want to look it up just to make sure? <laughs> yes, sir. Dang, dude. Where's dude? Come on, man. So much knowledge. I, was, oh. I read a book today yeah. that told me the subtle art of not giving a fuck. Oh, yeah. And that's why you don't care about your education. You think so, these ignorant yeah. people watching? <laughs> a person you know? who views on gender identity are considered hostile to transgender people. But what's the acronym stand for? Uh, <laughs> trans exclusion... 
Exclusionary what radical feminists. Yeah. So I knew I knew it was like a they call them that's what they called JK Rowling. But they're idiots because if she identifies as a turf, what's her name? JK Turf. Yeah. She's kidding. She's just kidding. JK's her name. This whole time she's using rolling, satire. JK rolling, rolling, rolling on the ground, turf. laughing out loud. Yeah. Harry Potter, a giant comedy. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Complete, it's, it's a parody. It's it's a satire. It's like a scary movie, you yeah. know? <laughs> That's all it is. That's all it is, but of the English. You yeah. know? <laughs> Hold my strong hand, Potter. <laughs> Don't give me your want, Potter. Uh, my germs. You know? <laughs> when the elves are in the kitchen, my germs. <laughs> Potter. 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 <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> Why do British people do that? Yeah, <laughs> it's because he's a fucking orphan. You don't think so? Daddy, so well. Harry, point me to the nearest bathroom. I have to take a poop. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, child, relax. <laughs> if you put as much effort into saying the peas as holding your poop, you wouldn't have to shit yourself. That is a weird noise that they make, huh? Yeah. Maybe it's because they got weird teeth. You don't think so? They have no teeth. They got like they have to like. They got the grimace teeth, bro. <laughs> when they have to give directions, you know, like. <laughs> like how they talk, they do like a weird yeah, mouth thing. Grimace, you know? Even Grimace had braces. Come on now, fuck. <laughs> even Grimace That's, had braces. Shout out to the Ronald McDonald Charity Foundation. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, man. They, they did away up. with that. Yeah. Do they not oh, have yeah. McDonald's in the UK? Oh, not the time they needed it. I don't think they are. They enjoy. They have mascots over there, huh? In the UK. I don't think so. They probably don't have Grimace. Maybe they have Ronald though. You know, he kind of looks like he's like, he's like from the UK. You don't think so? Yeah. He's got his attire. He's like super pasty white. Well, I mean, they have uh, the Hamburglar. <laughs> He's dressed like the queen. <laughs> they have the Hamburglar and he looks like Ronald Weasley. Oh, he does a little bit, He's huh? a redhead. He's freckled. And then... The girl? You know what? What's the girl's name? No, no, no. The girl? Hermione Wendy's. Wendy's, yeah. So maybe... No, but there's a girl's at McDonald's too, though. What was her name? I don't know. That was the lady that takes your order, Javi. Come on. But there was the... Because uh, maybe what I'm thinking, host, maybe it's all... Um, the pe- <laughs> maybe it was the people. <laughs> you okay? Birdie, it's the birdie. Her name is Birdie. birdie that's the bird. <laughs> he confused that with the mask. <laughs> but the uh... kid, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> You're the girl. <laughs> You're the mask. <laughs> Point to one of these pictures <laughs> up here. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> that's what they that's what they're doing also with Grimace. Could you imagine he's working there? <laughs> Can you take my order? <laughs> that was, his imagination is still, you know, activated in the uh... We're on to something though. So Hamburglar, Ronald Weasley. Continue. I was gonna say Wendy's is Hermione, classic redhead. Right? So maybe Harry Potter. They just took characters from fast food places. Okay. They have the king from uh, Burger King, Dumbledore. Dumbledore. That makes sense. You know? And now they have... Because he always has a crown, right? And then they have... uh, What other people had mascots? They had a... Oh, he who should not be named? Jared from Subway. I was about to say, underground... Because, you know, they they work in the dark arts. Jared from Subway. Jared from Subway. You know, so he's he's Voldemort. Yeah. Yeah. What else, Javi? And he likes little kids, so he's after them. True. You go out to eat so much. What other food uh, characters is there? I mean, Carl Jr., I can't think of. Hagrid. Hagrid? Hagrid was a child <laughs> of a giant. Junior. <laughs> Carl Jr. Hagrid. Hagrid Jr. See, we're, yeah. we're running out of... Uh... <laughs> yeah, there's not many. We ran out quick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so maybe that theory wasn't good. You know, I was like, Sonic, they don't even have one. No. That's just freaking reform prison workers. You know that? <laughs> that take your order, you know? <laughs> So if like you, because uh, like on the dating website, some of the thought artists will p- be like, swipe right if you're a convict felon or yeah. a criminal and you want to steal my heart. You know, just go to the fucking Sonic. Maybe that's why there's so many of those kind of chicks. Maybe. Have you noticed at the Sonic, at the drive-thru? Yeah. Like, oh, you just want a fountain drink, a nice soda, but they're trying to snatch a convict, you know? Yeah, true, true. A little authority, you know? Convict music. I mean, the Weasley twins, Hooters, you know, twins. <laughs> I think I don't know if we can save that one. Also, I think we. Well, I know? just said it, so we'll move on because that's a dead. Subject. But where are we at, Javi? I think we might be close to introducing some people. You know that have been patiently uh, waiting. Fifty minutes, just See? like Harry's when parents. That subject waiting. is dead. And then who are we going to start with first? You think so? Over. We'll start over there. Over there, you know, somebody a Wuhan woman. You know, yeah. She is wearing the orange kilt, the kilt of authority and power. 
or as she calls it Pawa, you know? She is a ranger of truth, a net knitter from uh, where, Javi? Melissa's factory. One half of the Saipan Sisters. And maybe she knows the jingle, you know? Everybody knows this yeah, jingle. All her workers know it, you know, because that's when her break is over. It's the only thing they play, okay? <laughs> Sing Sis- along with us. Sister, sister, give me the news. And what's her news? What's her news? What's her name? It's host? a way out for the employees, but they never get one. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. <laughs> you know? With her, you know, she's having a discussion. What stops them is the net from falling all the way down. You know, they I'm... go back to work. But it's the one and only, uh, the only fans creator right now for the summer, trying to find uh, heat. The one and only Melissa Sun Wukong Carter. And somebody else from the Asian community, you know? He's been very relaxed. He took his shades off. Yes, he's been very... He's been... I think he's in... Uh, I think he's doing the My Power Post almost. <laughs> you think so, Jimmy? He's homogenized. He may be... Uh, he's watching maybe a little bit of uh, Andrew Tate. You think so? Yeah, just a little bit. You know? Just but, enough. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, enough. That kind of, you know... This is a, he looked like Andrew Tate t- when he was in the enough person. Enough to tell us we're no longer his friends, we're his business partners. Oh, yeah. That's how he's been treating us, huh? He doesn't yeah. invite us anywhere. Not even to Golden Corral or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But we got the only one. He used to be our favorite. He's the Sandmaster. The peaceful, peaceful protester. protester. Jimmy Jaime Tatsumaki. Tatsumaki. Okay, and below Jimmy. You know, somebody that's going to make you shimmy. Somebody that's keeping us safe. You know, somebody that is the Krafenberg God King. You know, he is the uh, Jewish Jedi, some people like to say, you know? He'll play a couple Jewish Jedi mind tricks, and he won't make it today. No, he'll always be here at BNR. The top five security guard of the chat. We got our protector. Larry, the, the Winter, Winter Soldier. Soldier. Okay, on top of Larry. You know, uh, left of host in real life to the right of host in, uh, on screen, I think, on the left. I'm having a hard time remembering, but it's a Mexican-American killer. We got the, uh, what else? I think that's it. The Prince, the Dark One, Jose Beefy. 666, six, 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 six. La, La Bestia. Bestia. Okay. <clears throat> and now introducing <laughs> the undefeated champion of the world. Making himself, making his way out from Ponce, Puerto Rico. Bon, 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 Saludo bon, 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 a Parque bon, bon, de las Bombas. Bon, 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 the Pride bon, of Puerto Rico. Bon, 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 Standing at six foot seventeen and three quarter fifths, the one and only the Butter Pecan Puerto Rican Jose Antonio Alberto Santiago de Los Angeles Pagan Hill. Thank okay, you, thank hopefully you. that woke you guys up, you know? Yep, if it didn't, we don't know what to tell oh, you. Somebody's going to wake your wife up if you want to make a call, you think so? Well, she doesn't even have to wake your wife up, but she will end the life of the individual oh, brewing yeah. inside her womb. We have in the canary yellow, someone who is a bit of a mobile abortionist. The fetus distiller, you know? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the distillery of fetuses, okay? <laughs> she is the other half of the Saipan Sistas. And if you need to get rid oh, yeah. of a baby or a problem or a problem, you can yeah. call her because she has the solution that's called the Un and Nice a Slice, a slice surprise. surprise, baby. We have, again, our mobile abortionist, Nissan Hatake <laughs> Abormoto. Okay. And next to her being held oh, by yeah. a gentleman. Somebody that's very nice. Yes, yeah, someone from the indigenous community who has seen many atrocities and Decided to ignore those atrocities because she has her own life to live. She's trying to get likes on Instagram. She's trying to get people to love her. She doesn't care about the culture and the ravaging of her former people, oh, yeah. her ancestors. Real? She's as selfish as the homogenized generation, okay? She is the seeker of dreams, the speaker of nightmares. She is... That's her name, guys. And holding that little beauty, uh, we have a, an esteemed gentleman... Okay, he is uh, an individual who takes care of oh, yeah. our host Beefy when he's ill. Yeah. Um, he's and his I... caretaker, his health care provider when he's ill and he needs a pill. Oh, he's got the pill to Ibiza. You know, because yeah. sometimes you take the pill to Ibiza 
it ends up being the pill to the White House. When you end up taking the pill to the Ibiza, but it ends up being the pill of the White House, you're all over the news and people are mocking you on Twitter. When you're all over the news and people are mocking you on Twitter, you, you end up on the BNR show and people are trying to bust a myth. When you're on the BNR show and people are trying to bust a myth, they enable ChatCPT. When they enable ChatCPT, they find out that milk is making everybody gay and causing a lot of school shootings. When they find out that milk is making a lot of people gay and causing school shootings, what happens, us? You have to take a walk into your walk-in microwave. And when you have to take a walk into your walk-in microwave, you have a lot of thoughts. When you have a lot of thoughts, you start to write them on the walls of the inside of your walk-in microwave. When you have a lot of thoughts and start to write them on the walls of the inside of your walk-in microwave, you get frightened. When, when you, you get, get frightened, frightened you, you get, get scared. scared. When, when you get scared, scared you, get you get the goosebumps. goosebumps. When you get, you get goosebumps, goosebumps, you get el heebie-jeebie, filomeno, el hibarechon. <laughs> Hard at work, huh? All day, every day. <laughs> Come on. And then we got somebody that's uh, in here today, rolling super late, huh? You think so? Absolutely. Because he was burning a lot of stuff. He's next to Javi, you know? Yeah. He made a lot of hot dogs this weekend, but uh, <laughs> did anybody eat his glizzies? No, they did not. They, they were, were protesting them, yeah. you know? <laughs> They're like, he's like, here's my lump of coal, you know? They went from kosher cuties to charcoal. Oh, yeah, but we got the Munich monster. The, the later hose and lad, lad. the wiener snitchel snatcher, Gustafstein Schweinsteiger. And now maybe you can introduce the other guy, Hoss? <laughs> yeah. Uh, next up, we have an individual who was even more late than Gustafstein tonight. Oh, yeah. uh, he was busy burning bridges. The midnight oh, yeah. hour. And then the bridge he was burning was the bridge uh, to employee of the year. So here we have the runner up. For employee, employee of the year, the Omega, Omega from, from the, the bodega, bodega, Mr. J48, Javi. Viva Cristo Rey, oh, guys. Oh, let's go. go. Put your lighters up. No matter where you're from, put Just your lighters up. Just give me the up. light. You know, so Who gives us the light? Shout out to Dre Rock, to Dre, one yeah. of our sponsors. Oh, I was going to say Jesus Christ, but yeah, him yeah. too. He gives Shout him the light Dre. so he can give us the light, you know? Yeah, so it's course. light on light on light. Yep. Light why on no, light on light on light. Dre is why merely... No, no, my lights ain't black on black on black on black. <laughs> Dre is merely a tool from the Lord to provide us light. Oh, yeah. Amen. You know? And somebody that was maybe not provided a lot of light, or maybe she wants a little bit less light, is somebody that, you know, I almost forgot that we stumbled upon, you know? Because we've been seeking for her a couple of times, you know, in this perimeter around where we record the show. The engineering you know, we've, genius. Okay? We've taken a couple of drives around town and stuff like that. We were how to get ingredients, but we actually ended up going to fights. And it was a hot, I think it was 100 degrees, but somebody that Hoss needs to make amends with. Who did we see, Hoss? Do you remember who we saw? Yeah, we did. We saw the, the gypsy. <laughs> we saw the gypsy, dude. This time she was at the park. And not like at the park, like where the grass is, like literally in front of the park in the street. Like on the sidewalk. On, parked on the sidewalk. Yeah, parked on the sidewalk so nobody could get through her and her. she was taking a nap, you know? Yes. And uh, what did I tell you, Hoss? I don't remember. I said, dude, come on, let's take a picture with the gypsy. What do you say about the gypsy? So I'm not taking a picture with the gypsy. Yeah, so he still... Why do you still hate the gypsy, Hoss? I thought we were going to... Uh, when you see the soulless stare of a bitch, you're not going to take a picture with her ever. But maybe you just take it off her because I'm driving. I can't take the picture. I don't want to take a picture of her. But remember when we found out this weekend that she was trying to get to the Gypsy Emporium down south, southern Utah. Oh, that is true. we did bust another myth. Javi's memory. Look at him, dude. He's, yeah, I don't know where his memory is coming from. Maybe it's from the uh, the creamsicles and the popsicles yesterday. <laughs> so glucose actually is your... He's got a sugar high. Is, 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 yeah. is, is your memory is power? answer. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I eat so many... That's what made him feel safe when he was a kid. You, you know? need 20,000% daily dose of <laughs> sugar so that you can perform to a Javi, better... take us through your sugar <laughs> diet. <laughs> I wake up. That's why he loves tiramisu. It's not even the flavor. It's just he's like, oh, the sugar. And he feels powerful. So take us, Javi. Let's see Javi's sugar. Because, dude, Javi might be able to get to, like, probably, uh, you know, 200s or 200,000 or the hundreds of thousands. 2,500 a day, you know. Or the hundreds of millions. I think he might be able to. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) You think so? Or the millions. About thousands of hundreds. It's over (laughs) 9,000. Impossible! <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Cynthia walks in. She's like, "It's time to go to bed. What's wrong with you?" He checks his insulin. It's over nine thousand. <laughs> and then my, he smiles. The gray because the, of little, the, the little insulin radar. You know? 
It says Is that error. error? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's over 9,000! <laughs> and then he just snuggles into bed and goes to sleep. <laughs> and doesn't wake up I because to, of, of sugar coma. It's a sugar I just, crash. I just yeah. had to get it below 9,000. You know, I had to burn off a little bit. Yeah. So I had to scream it so, out. Yeah. 8,999. then he can go to sleep. Now I'm good. <laughs> oh, man. That would be crazy, huh? His heart be like a little but hummingbird. If, but if anybody's worse than me at sugar, is Cynthia. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, yeah. we could tell by your teeth, Cynthia, when you came over. <laughs> you know? <laughs> hey, you're going to make tr- You're going to trigger her. Huh? She works at a dental office. Yeah, they look what? great. Oh, let me finish, guys. Come on, you're man. trigger her. Let Hopefully me finish. she doesn't have milk in her hands. Yeah. Hard R's, you know? <laughs> I said, let me finish. We could talk as her teeth look really beautiful. And I asked her, how do you keep your teeth like that when you eat so much sugar? You know? And she's like, I floss properly. These are veneers. I work at a dental office. And these are her veneers, you know? <laughs> Not the Sioux variety. No, it's her. Just veneers. Yeah, so shout out to Cynthia, you know? That yeah, smile. How no, good did it look when she smiled? There's no Sue left. We had to sit her in the fucking shade, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, we can have a conversation with her, you know? Yeah. I was like, I thought it was, I thought Javi walked in with God, but it was just Cynthia smiling. I thought I was in Hiroshima. <laughs> <laughs> Javi had but it that. was Cynthia smiling. <laughs> Javi had his power over 9,000. He was about to destroy us in his, you know, and it was just Cynthia right yeah. next to him. <laughs> just, you know, I thought I, thought he, I was vacationing yeah. in Ukraine, but it was Cynthia smiling. Oh, yeah, man. Her aura? No. Oh, come on, host, you know? Mother of all bombs. Yeah. We, we, we thought we made it to Las Vegas to see the sphere, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like, thought well, I was Holly in... brought it here, you know, now that he's been balling, you know? I thought I was a guest at a wedding over in Afghanistan, but it was oh, just yeah. Cynthia smiling. Oh, no. She bagged the dad. You don't think so? <laughs> <laughs> the best dad, according to Holly. <laughs> oh, what does, that, what does uh, Cynthia do? She bags the dad. You don't think so? I thought I was doing <laughs> a... The best. <laughs> the, <laughs> the number one best dad in the world. God. Bobby, oh, Jesus God. Christ. <laughs> He killed his own son, dude. That had to knock you down a couple rankings. No, t- technically no. You don't think so? He let his son die. His yeah. son's choice, though. Remember? Oh, really? It was his that own I will, choice, yeah. I will die yeah. for you. Well, dude, Jesus and God's gonna... like, you don't have to. And he's like, no, I'm going to. I'm he's going like, to okay, do this. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> it's over. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I do. <laughs> and, and then, then he's just like, the newest... and then, and then he like... gave Satan the sins of being. <laughs> <laughs> And then he looks at God, who knows what's going on. And he goes, God, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And I was like, yeah, I know. You d- you wanted this. Just die already, man. Yeah. Jeez, how we know? You're going to be, yeah. you're gonna be late for so dinner. He's like, I'm tired of talking to you through this, like, can and the string, you know? Just come up here. So they had to go with, the, with one of those minds to guard him for Semini? That's why he needed a three-day meeting with him before he came back. He's like, do oh, I have like, a lot bro, of things? you like, need to chill. Yeah. That was too much. Yeah. <laughs> come on. And he's like, you think it's, that was too much? <laughs> his temper tantrum that Jesus threw, you know? Yeah. He didn't get a Mercedes. He thinks, oh, come no. on, man. <laughs> why did you have me die in, you know, this, this year? He probably would like, if you were Jesus, what would be the optimal uh, time that you would want to die? You mean age or the... Like time, like the time frame. Like century. Yeah. Because back then, it's like, dude, you can't even be cool. Like, Jesus, like, imagine now... You know, Je- it, I think, if from my perspective... Did, oh, you know what? I think he did it. He did it back then because there was the most minorities back then. There weren't there many that many white people back then. Yeah, because there... Well, yeah, because genocides hadn't taken place yet. Exactly. So that's why I think he was trying to be all-inclusive... A little bit of white people. He was trying to be the king of the blacks and the browns. And the browns. So, uh, but I think if I if I were him, I would I would have picked the Salem witch trials because he would have been the only one with actual powers that was crucified and, and a boy. Yeah. So maybe he could convert them or things like that. Yeah, he would have taken the pressure off the women, and then more people would actually be like, okay, this guy actually has powers. Or what if it was a fight now turned to Jesus against the witches? Only who can save us from the witches? Jesus of Nazareth. Yeah. And then they have to, Jesus arrives on a ship, you know, they have to get him from Jerusalem and he's going to go through, he, they didn't know about the Pacific Ocean yet. So they have to go all the way across under Africa and then go yeah. through, you know, like the, they arrive on the East and they get to the West, mm-hmm. you know, and then what kind of battles do you think that are going to have against the, the witches? Cause they would have to have a little bit of power hosts. Math battles. Let's remember a lot of the witches oh, yeah. were just girls that knew reading. how to do math and read. And read. So, like, would they try to, like, if Jesus multiplies fish, would they try to explain it? Yeah. Like, what he's really de- doing. Yeah. And then they write, like, uh, the X squared plus B squared, fish yeah. squared plus B squared, and they do a little algebra. Yeah. <laughs> and then the thing be is, like, she's a witch! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, here's the thing. is like, so people are still observing, and they're still trying. So, Jesus is heavily winning from the perspective of the humans, because they're like, 
he's proving that they're witches, right? And this is a, a battle for their own life. And the girls are too proud. They're like, no, we want equality. We can do math just as good as men. But they don't realize they're going to die because their emotions got the best of them. So Jesus is like, in his mind, do I've got them in the corner? Here's my, uh, you know, ace in the hole. He just grabs the Bible and throws it on the table and he goes, read this. And they <laughs> read it. And it, that comprehension of reading is so elite that the people immediately start, you know, stabbing them with pitchforks and burning them. Oh, damn. So Jesus didn't even have to fight his own war. And then how would they celebrate Jesus after? Um, well, would be, Jesus even have to die at that point? At that point, I don't think so. He'd probably just stay in Salem? Yeah, they would just be like, you are the Messiah. They would just call, like, Jesus Oregon is what it would be called instead of Salem? Maybe. <laughs> It'd be Nazareth, Oregon. Oh, uh, dude, it would suck if Jesus was from America, though. You know what I mean? At least back then he got, like, Egyptians chasing him. Jewish people, you know, they're climbing him. Like, What's he going to get here? Souvenir? Oh, uh, <laughs> well, yeah. Come on. Oh, the Romans, huh? Yeah. Yeah, That's Romans. True. Like, people, cool people after him. Emperors. True. Over Kings. Here, the, the Puritans are after yeah. him. <laughs> the Amish. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Imagine the Amish trying to do something the to Quakers. Jesus. The Quakers. With their belt oh, yeah. buckle shoes. Hey, imagine trying to shoot <laughs> Jesus with a musket. You know and what? honestly, Come Quakers on, are man. phonies. It's just a bunch of people with Parkinson's, okay? Come on, Quakers. man. Yeah. <laughs> they're always quaking. You know, they're quaking in their boots, us. <laughs> out of fear that, that's how uh, uh, Paul Revere could hear them you know it's like yeah. the British are coming because there's a bunch of fucking there's quakers a bunch of clacking quivering <laughs> yeah oh that one is the, the loudest uh, army you know yeah but yeah Jesus come on man he's maybe we're keeping him there in that era of course or we can bring him to like the dark ages you know that would be cool too like right now <laughs> no I mean we got a little bit of light you don't think so not enough you would want to see like who could Jesus fight now? Who do you, like I want to see him go against what do you like mean, maybe everybody. <laughs> oh, maybe that is true, huh? Yeah, dude, everybody. Could. Dang, dude, that would be crazy. Could you imagine, you know, your Jesus just parts like what Ukraine and Russia. Oh um, man, then California, he just sends them off the map. You know, he's like <laughs> Oregon, <laughs> Washington. <laughs> uh, what is it? What other country? Uh, New York. Uh, what are they? Come on, hobby. We're uh, Colorado, the, the Middle East, <laughs> the entire Middle East. <laughs> oh, God. dang, dude. And China? then what would China, China. Would he eradicate China? He thinks oh, of Jesus. Yeah, he would. I think. He oh, would. and India. Can you imagine him, dude? India and China against Jesus Christ, bro. Yeah. That would be. Oh my. Jordans God. just went up to seventy grand <laughs> <laughs> because they're paying equal opportunity pay employees in the United oh, States man. of America. <laughs> And then so you enjoy the uh, the child slave labor trade, and and Jesus has like the red Octobers. You think so? The throwbacks. Yeah. You know, Air yeah, Yeezys, what the they're calling them. Or or these ones, Yeah, bro. he's coming in. He probably cool. came back with these. Yeah, you know. Oh, can you? There's the second fire coming out of him. You know, like the second right here, comings. These ones. Right and here, then guys. Kanye, he, Kanye's behind him. You know, he's doing like the Donda. Like, what does he say? What does Kanye do when he trying to make like a Donda song? What does he do? Donda, Donda. I don't. Mm 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 mm. No. <laughs> no. G. Jesus, us, 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 you know? Jesus, works. Jesus, Jesus, and then it's like you know, angels are there. The choir. He probably has a quorum of the of the apostles. You don't think so? Or the but he's got the nine choirs. The of Sunday angels. service. The Sunday service, and yeah. he's got the tabernacle choir. You don't think so? Else? And Celine Dion. Oh yeah, everybody. So all the people that can sing good, they join Jesus. You know. Yeah. So he's got there. They come with Kanye West. He's like, you know, he's bam. He comes in with Kanye West. Everybody's singing, and Kanye he's dressing all black. Cause he's like, and then on his song, on his shirt, it says, "I told you so." Yeah. You know? Or would it say like, "Jesus hates Jews"? Or what would it be? It says, "Christ is King." Oh yeah, Christ <laughs> is King. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and does he do the sign? Oh, the the rock or not? No, he's he's. He's uh, his rock is Christ. It's so. Peter. He's gonna throw up Peter. Oh, <laughs> and Peter walks by him. He's like, the rock is in the building. Yeah. Ooh, Peter's right it's behind. It's your boy. And then it's and Dwayne then the Rock Hope Johnson like, oh. versus Peter the Rock. Oh <laughs> man. And then Michelangelo's there. Who else do we got? Gabriel, you know. Gabriel, yep. Against Juan Gabriel, come on. Who's gonna, <laughs> <laughs> who's gonna hey, win? You know, you know? We didn't and know so about Juan. Juan. He could be. He could be in heaven. You know. I don't know. You know, Juan Gabriel. He's like, Carina. Dime cuando tú. Dime cuando tú vas a ver. And Jesus is like, you thought I was a girl. Abraza me muy fuerte. He was singing about Jesus the whole time, bro. Yeah, he was. Maybe he was. Maybe they forgive him. You know. Yeah, well, he was giving alabanzas to Christ. Oh, he was? Yeah. Uh, who, who else are we? Like, Jesus, what other... Who's the main... Like the So now we got the, um, China. You know, we got India. 
What other countries going to join them to... Maybe the U.S., you think so? Against Christ? The, Dem the Democratic states, or who's going to join? Maybe Venezuela, you know? Yeah, the socialists. The socialists, they join Cuba. And Cuba, yep. They're oh, joined. Cuba would try... Imagine Haiti. Cuba... Oh. Trinidad y Tobago. Hate thee, not me. <laughs> oh, man, that would be... That, you think so? Yeah, the Virgin Islands are on the side of Jesus, though. Oh, yeah. Because they're virgins. What about they the Canary Islands? Here. They've also... Kept, they, they've uh -huh. denounced uh, Nissan Hataki Abormoto, but... They're on the side because, dude, the birds are like a symbol of Christ. The doves, you know. Can Can you imagine Jesus takes a selfie with the uh, Jesus in uh, Brazil? Oh yeah, the favela. Uh, what about one that goes Jesus? like this? Yeah, <laughs> Jesus does the same thing. Somebody takes a picture of him. Hashtag I'm back. I think, I think yeah. the biggest one I think is in Colombia or no Indonesia. Indonesia. Another has the, Jesus. They, there's like several Jesus statues. The biggest one is in Indonesia. Oh, so man. Indonesians are going to be on the side of Jesus. Oh, damn. And this is almost reminiscent for some reason of the Jesus comeback tour yeah. 2024. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. But this is like him slaying. It's not him being peaceful. This is when he gets ready to battle. Oh yeah. yeah. This is not no. He oh, got he's... his. He already got his army. And now he's like, yo, I'm, I'm out there to out kill. Out for blood, you know? Yeah. This is the second tour, Out for Blood. <laughs> out for Blood, available now, you know? Yeah. <laughs> that album is going to be fire. <laughs> and so will the whole world. <laughs> Jesus, I mean, you know, he gets the asteroid. He said, no more floods, huh? He's like, you guys are going to burn. Yeah, baby, you burn. guys will burn on the Disco second Inferno, arrival. You know? yeah. But maybe something else is burning, you know? I think maybe do you think we're gonna have to do questions, Javi, or uh, a mystery. So we, Some burning we don't got curiosity. time for uh, holidays, do we? No, we don't have time for holidays. Uh, hour ten. Yeah, let's do uh, let's do a question because we have a question in a, in a nightmare. Okay, okay, you ready for the question? Yes. You want to do question first or nightmare? Yeah, we'll do the question first. Okay. All right, let me. Uh, um, let's do nightmare first. Nightmare, nightmare first? first. Yeah. Okay. 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 Feed him a cookie, Hoss. Come on, he's starting okay, to shut down. Okay. <laughs> Not okay. <laughs> Yeah, you're still on, Javi. I know. I'm so you're in the Matrix, you know? I found... Now we're here. Made my way Petting downtown through the Matrix. But what do you got cooking for us, you know? So, the mystery for today... See if he forgot to read. You know, he was doing so much better than Alice for a little bit. But now Alice? They call her what? Notes. AR Accelerator Reader what? Hooked on phonics. Well, better than Hunter. They call her Hop. H-O-P. <laughs> Alright, my most horrific nightmare... I was in a white room. Can I hear you with the mic being that far? Yes, yeah, sir. Probably. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. Because mine was pretty loud. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I could escape. The exit was opened. I did escape, but I was in another asylum. I don't know how I write. Oh, it says, it literally says, IDK, how to write it. In parentheses. What did you just say? Asylum. <laughs> Somebody so was, was in an asylum, asylum, right? He could escape, but then he escaped into another asylum? Yeah. Okay. Well, it just says white room, so we're assuming it's the first asylum. It's a white room is the first one? Yeah. Okay. So there's no BLM in there. Um, the door <laughs> was locked. <laughs> then I've seen horrific people telling me to apologize. Showing me why I need to apologize. Uh, make me do it again. <laughs> this is fucking horrible. <laughs> it's worse than me. Uh, lastly, take my skin and crush my bones. That's pretty gay. Uh, then they steal my kidney. Oh my goodness! And then I fainted. Do these sentences are three three word sentences. <laughs> it goes like, then I fainted. Period. When I woke up, still had a nightmare. I was in a dark room. Period. <laughs> I could barely see the with a birthday uh, cakes candles. A music box started playing. A dark figure turned on the lights. The lights were yellow. I could barely see. The black figure came near me and cut a piece of cake. And then he disappeared. I could hear my stomach grumbling. I, I had to eat it. Before I figured out the cake was made out of my own skin and kidney. The candles were my crushed bones. After I ate it, I started to bite my fingers. The horrific... The, that horrific people came in and I woke up. I'm still traumatized. <sighs> it feels like you're eager to buzz this one, huh? Well, I mean, it was so long, unnecessarily long, I think, in my opinion. But either way, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. This is essentially. I'm not agreeing with this, but I believe that they're, what they're experiencing is uh, two two parts: white guilt and f foresight. 
white room, right? It's, that's what they start off. That's the privilege. It's an asylum. It's a bit crazy, though, right? Bit too privileged. Things got out of hand. A lot of atrocities committed in recent memory. Let me get out of this, uh, this state, uh, this environment. Jumps to the next room. Another asylum. What do they have this individual do? Apologize. Ask for I'm sorry. Cancel culture, okay? They tried being a white apologist. Didn't work. Wasn't good enough. Never would be good enough. Escapes that room, yes? And then after this room, goes into another room that's dark or with birthday candles and stuff. No, he could barely see with uh, the birthday cake's candles. So, yeah. So the, Okay, so there's a birthday cake and it has candles. This is vanity. He's thinking, or she, of their own birthday. Okay, we have... Twitter, we have IG, Facebook, or Meta, whatever it's called. All of these social media apps for what? Pay attention to me. I, you know, I want my props. I want my, my business. I want whatever. Just everything to glorify yourself. And so a figure walks into the room, a dark figure, and turns on the light, you said? Yeah, dark figure turned on the lights. And it's yellow lights. Yep. Yellow lights, okay. The collapse of the white society, a.k.a. USA, leads to the rise of... China. The, East, the rise of the East. The Asians rise, okay? And a lot of people don't lump in India with China, but they're also Asians. That's Shut the up rise to Rice of the Krispies. Asians, okay? So the rise of the Asians and a dark figure, darker skinned people, okay? Darker than white, at least. Yellow is a darker shade of white, and brown is, of course, way darker than white. Uh, after this, you said, wakes up, but doesn't... It's still in a dream? Uh, and it's fed bones. Yeah, the black figure came in near me and cut a, a piece of cake. Oh then, yes, then the cut the cake. Okay, what's the popular phrase? You want you can't have your cake and eat it too. The Asians are going to show us that yes, you can have your cake and you're going to eat it. You're going to suffer and eat the cake, the fruits of your labors, right? And then when's the part where they eat the bones? Uh, before I figured out the cake was made out of my skin and kidneys. Yeah, see? So, of the flesh. You only like things that are of material. You like only things of the flesh. You don't look to a higher being, a higher power, supernatural, spiritual energy, okay? Some of you guys are fooling yourself. I'm spiritual. Oh, yeah. Not spiritual You're enough. You're demonic. You only, you only say that so that you can see your light of the birthday cake and get likes and shares on your little posts, okay? That's what that's what that's a fake spirituality. Okay, and then so after the bones, sorry, there's just so much that I, I have. No, there to, was a lot. That was it. And or? then uh, he he had to eat it because he was hungry. Yeah, so eat the fruits uh, of the, your own labor. The candles were made out of his crushed bones. You shall reap what and you sow. And after I eat it, I mm -hmm. started biting my fingers. Oh yeah, so you start biting your fingers because what do you do in order to post on your phone? You use your hands. So now you realize you can't escape and you're trying to find an escape, but you're metaphorically eating your own hands because your own hands are causing you all this pain, causing you to eat your own flesh and eat yourself and put yourself in a terrible position. And that's when they wake up? And then the horrific people came in and I woke up. Yeah, so the horrific people that <clears throat> came in are the ones that you said were your business partners. They were trying to be your friends, but they also now make you pay because they have better businesses than you because they had a purpose. Your only purpose was to use everyone around you. Their purpose was to uplift others and be happy with their own creativity, with their own business mindset. Meanwhile, you fuckface, you were clout chasing, trying to abuse whatever little power you had, faking your way. You know, you say fake it till you make it. Well, you faked it and you made it to your own fucking grave. You have no oh, friends, yeah. no business to show for, and that's what happens when you go from privilege to entitled to, oh, now you reap what you sow. So shut the fuck up, sit down, and actually go get yourself a real friend oh, and be a good man. friend. Better Business Bureau. Come on, ho, that's what, that's what happened. Dude, that was exactly what I was gonna say. Really? To the, to the word for word. Yeah. <laughs> word for word. Yeah, and, he could, yeah, and he knows because he had so much sugar he remembers. Well, <clears throat> maybe here's, I do have maybe a theory of what happened, you know? I haven't interpreted a dream for a while, but this sounds to me like somebody wakes up in somewhere that where it's all white. You know, people can say, oh, is it the White House? Is it Hunter Biden? Does Did Hunter have to apologize? Were they mad at him for doing something that he did? And people were yelling at him. They took him to a dark room. No, absolutely not. This is somebody that was at a hospital. Okay, they had a medical emergency. Maybe they're dying of something, right? Something happened to them. Maybe they were in the accidente, they like to say in Spanish. You know, it's an accident. Okay? They're in and out of consciousness. You know, they're they're in the fringe of living and seeing the Lord. You know? So they're dying and living at the same time. They wake up, they're in another room. You know, dark room, this was, they're getting a, a CAT scan. CTE, she was, 
what's wrong with the brain or whatever they're getting. Or is that what it's called? The machine? What is it called? The a CAT, CAT scan. scan yeah. Machine, yeah. So they're boom. They're getting a CAT scan. Now they say he gets transferred after that to another room, right? Okay. Is that what happened? He gets transferred to like another room? <clears throat> yeah. So now he's in the third room, right? And they're trying to make him up. He just hears voices. It's he's still, dark. It's yeah, dark it's and... dark. He's still now. Now he's like in the ICU. In another word, they do more intense care. And you can just hear somebody just like, you need to say sorry, you know? Why would you do this? You piece of shit. Oh, you're horrible. How could you? You know, we're trying to... So somebody's just yelling, wanting him to apologize, but he can't apologize, you know, because why? Because he's almost dead. So he can't apologize. So they're just like mourning him. And then all of a sudden there's a black figure, right? There's black figures and there's a glowing, like a glow. What's that? What's that? Like a, like a, like a glow, like an orb, like a yellow light. And then the, the light from the candles. Okay. So there's somebody comes in. Somebody that we know is dark. Who? Cynthia. Okay. Somebody comes in with a, a large glow. We just talked about her smile. Her, her smile teeth. was purely reflecting off the candles, causing this light to shine bright, right? And then who is the patient? Have you put it together? Javi. Javi is the patient. He forgot. Cynthia is so mad CTE. that Javi's had... Well, uh, Javi's so mad that... Uh, well, Cynthia's so mad that uh, Javi's in that position. She's like making, trying to make him apologize, you know? And she brought the cake that represents Javi is eating himself into diabetes, <laughs> okay? So he has to cut down I'm the sugar. I'm in a diabetic coma. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know? So he can't wake up. Exactly, because he's in a diabetic coma and they're trying to save him in the hospital because he drank, he ate too much sweets. That's what happened. Wow. Gluttony. Fuck, man. Yeah, <laughs> glucose. <America. laughs> a different G. <laughs> yeah, triple G, you know? <laughs> Guys, grocery games. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, it that makes was, sense. That was perfect sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got one, Javier? Or... No, I was gonna say basically what. Holster oh, come did. on, exactly. Let's hear it. Let's hear Verbatim. it. Verbatim. Let's hear. Uh, <laughs> what? What? How much are we on time? Uh, one thirty. Okay, let's. We'll end with Javi giving his uh, re-edition of Jose's uh, oh, but word the, for word. But the question was pretty good. <laughs> word for word. I was actually the, the question. Should we spare funny. him or what? What do you decide? Uh, what is the guy Pontius or whatever Chris Pontius? Pontius Pilate. Pontius Pilate. You know what? Let's let the king decide. <laughs> <laughs> we shall let the king decide if there's going to be a question or if maybe he's going to have to rebuttal utter word for word. You know, the power that came out of Jose's voice. So let's... <laughs> you should buy a trumpet. <laughs> Don't speak to the king. No, I'm talking to you. The, Don't speak to my father. The prince. Father, I have the shades of gold. You must place my blockers of hate upon my brow. Those things are brighter than the oh! sun. <laughs> sorry, Dad, sorry. <laughs> you never get that right. Father, we have somebody that's trying to make a One mockery of, of your name. Banish you from the kingdom for that. Father, I'm trying my best, Father. Uh, well, maybe he should wear this hat. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the king, king. Father, there's somebody that's Lord. trying to mock you. Who dares mock me in my kingdom? This man says he can articulate in the same verbiage, in the same languages that you can speak to the mere peasants. He thinks he can reiterate what I say word for word. Word for word, sentence for sentence, punctuation for punctuation. Language for language, verbatim for verbatim. What an impudent quim. Bring him upon this. Before I do, Father, let me get you your weapons just in case you need to neutralize him. That is a solid idea. What a clumsy son I have. Father, if you thank you for the compliment, Father. You've never referred to me in any sort of manner like that. I am... If this is any indication on how you would run a kingdom, it would collapse. Oh, my water a day. spilled. My water broke, Father. Here is your sword, Father. Our kingdom wasn't built in a day, but if you run it, it shall fall in one. Okay. Summon. Javier. Javier. No, 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 no. Summoned. Don't mock me either, Javier. I'll mock okay. whoever I want. The prince sent me here. Okay, the prince sent me here. Because you already have a lot of issues with listening to orders, you piece of shit, okay? So the prince <laughs> sent me here to... The, berries and the queen, king, berries hey, and the queen. king is going to Look knock it boy. off. The king <laughs> is going to make you... 
either rebuttal word for word where you say you can mock him that you have the exact same I thoughts <laughs> in that puny little brain <laughs> as somebody so almost as powerful as God <laughs> okay <laughs> or he might grant you you know the freedom to ask whatever other question you had to ask you peon Mr. King Mr. King <laughs> they call you Javier they sure do buddy I would say it's nice <laughs> to meet you but it is definitely not you have interrupted my day and I do not appreciate being interrupted. Hey, you know what? I was interrupted. My day was interrupted. <laughs> Kai Kai say, shut up! <laughs> son of a bitch! Do not interrupt me. And son, please hold the vulgarities. Sorry, father. Although that was well placed, I appreciate it. You make me proud. Now, Mr. Javier, I shall put you through a test of sorts, a quiz, as they say in this Martin era. And depending on how the quiz goes... I shall allow you to recite what I said word for word, or I shall sentence you to death via spell of my prince. So, I want you to tell me, without putting your hands on the keyboard, why, how is milk evaporated? Look at my father, eye to eye, coward. Milk is evaporated. Uh, somebody, a machine, if... Well, you're from the past. You wouldn't even know about this. I'm in the present, Lord. and I'm well read. The present? Yes. What What year is this? Threat! Neutralized. Neutralized. <laughs> how? Forget where I'm from and how I got here. Go ahead and answer the question. What makes milk evaporated? How is it evaporated milk? What is the process? The process of evaporated milk is... It is heated up to 194.7 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> and then they have a machine or an umbrella, if you will. I don't know if you are familiar with the umbrellas. I feel like he is mocking you, father. That's that not word for word. Your vocabulary. Good, like it. Okay. You have no us uh, ums in your speech. <laughs> <laughs> you shall not live Check past today. Son, cast your spell and... <laughs> <laughs> One more time, rewind it back. <laughs> Vanquish from my sight for anyone questioning me in the kingdom. Never mock me. Never forget. Always remember. Unless we say, unless we forget. Una vez más. Ita de